at the anger. Tell me more about that. Cosination San Bonani and welcome back to Football Trends with me, UQP. Well, on this video, guys, I would like to give you the huge announcement that has been made by KZ Chiefs management and also uh, the secret. There's a secret revealed by uh, the new coach that is coming to KZ Chiefs, uh, but you have to wait until the end of the video so that you can find out what that secret is. But first things first, uh, KZ Chiefs announcement. Uh, KZ Chiefs have currently um, made a huge announcement showing which they've released players like uh, Unjabulo Ngobo and also Usiatemba uh, Sitebenaye has been released sorry for Ogutibam Sheshibam keeper but anyways uh, it was time it was time and also we have uh, Uki and Dolly Ki and Dolly Nae he's also has been released and it has been announced by the KZ Chiefs management and then last but not least we have uh, Usifiso Santi Nae he's a left back is a player that has been released by KZ Chiefs and it's official they've made an announcement and also also guys there are some of the players that have gone back uh, the likes of uh, F Mam Jason Gonzalez he's gone back to his home country uh, Lana Abuela Corner because you remember correctly uh, he was there at Nashwena on a loan he was there on a loan so they did not want to sign him before Babon Uti performance Akinjani so now we know Oguti he's gone going back to his home and last but not least Buffet too we have uh, oh, Reina Dinklager, sorry for the pronunciation, but anyways, Reina Dinklager has been confirmed by KZ Chiefs management to Gutinaye. He's gone. He's gone, Bafetu. Uh, even though we know Guti, he didn't go back there as a goalkeeper coach. He was something else, but unfortunately, it looks like uh, Bam Susile and then obviously Espez and Sake. The only person who's going to fit there is the new goalkeeper coach known as Elias Mzo. So, yeah, but it's, it's war. It's war. Keys Chiefs are making a wholesale change. So, yeah, this is it in terms of uh, our announcement that has been made by the management. And then now, let's get back to Unabi Buffet 2. There's a secret. There's a secret that has been revealed about uh, Unas Redin Nabi uh, when it comes to signing players so i believe this is a good thing uh and also it's also a bad thing now i will tell you why Uti, i believe this is a good thing and also a bad thing first things first let's look at the secret to Uti. yini lendon energy when it comes to signing players is the fact that he was able to get very good quality players at the younger tell me more about that <laughs> the way first the way he scout players yeah you know Nabi is the kind of guy that before he he register he, he tried to register prayer, he used to face players inside the club and ask, I want to buy this this boy. How do you think about him? Can he can he fit our style? So and at the and the time you you uh, you went to the club you will realize that everybody there involves you to be there. So he asked it's, for the opinion yes, from the players. Players. If he, uh, they, I saw this yeah. player, the way he plays. Is he good for our team? So when you find out the, there is a players who know your quality yes. and they, they are ready to work with you, you are in inside the group. Oh. Well, as you can hear, Buffet, as you can hear, Uti Nazradin Nabi, before assigning new players, he makes sure Uti, he talks with the team. And then, uh, Ababose, Uti, I've seen this player. And what do you think about this player in terms of your performance and everything? Now, to be honest, guys, this is good. It's very good because it does allow our players to be able to pick out uh, some of the players that they would like to work with and someone who they know would definitely, if ever we're going to play with the, someone, uh, we got this is that's going to be getting along. Uh, perfect for our communication in the field of play you know governor the structure of the team when it's solid everything becomes like a smooth it's a smooth road so if the players allow a coach uh, to sign the players that they want not do it, that player is only wanted by coach nabi but also uh, the players are interested in that player i believe it's going to be more uh, smoothly for the team and it does benefit the team in, in the outcomes and then the bad side the bad side buffet too 
Ish, yeah, it's bad because if a coach finds a player who he does believe who this player is going to perform very well and then the, the players in the team they say no 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 we don't want this guy maybe there's bad history uh, back then because you know he's new in the country let's say he's coming in and he wants uh, or maybe Dodley for an example he wants a rush room Dodley and someone in the club maybe a few players uh, they have had bad with him then definitely they're going to close that um, opportunity of a coach signing that player because obviously they've said it in no ways we don't want this guy and maybe it's because there's personal life involved so i do think it that does affect uh, the, the term of signing that new player but anyways anyways i think it's it's all about to uh what are they going to do and in terms of this because if players they say okay we don't want to rush win dotly then definitely they are going to suffer let's say a coach can see Uti, we we need to fill a gap there's a gap that we need to fill for example let's say stefan azizki yeah he's a midfielder he says okay i need stefan in this team so that he can be able to you know stabilize the midfield you know do that work that extra work the players i have currently they're not doing a good job and if they can bring someone like this definitely they will even try to pull up their socks and do more but if the players say mm -mm, we don't want this guy then definitely nothing nothing is going to happen and uh, john Ababoza. So this is the secret that I wanted to reveal about Jonas Radin Nabi. It's shocking, but yeah, I think it has its good and bad side. So yeah, those are the updates in Bugeli I wanted to give you in terms of the players. The players have been released and the management has announced it has been confirmed. Ngobo is gone. Rumors out there, they state to he might be going to Skuku United. September Sitebe also has been released and yeah, now nah, the Atlabs, I think he's going to Magesi, if I'm not mistaken, or Mokosi, whatever the team is. And then also we have Kigan Dolly. Kigan Dolly, at least I've heard, which is Super Sport United, uh, is interested in him. And then uh, Usfiso Tlanti, well, it's unfortunate I haven't heard anything about Usfiso Tlanti, which is the club that is interested in him. But Agent Yaki said something that I think maybe we will see him uh, being introduced to another club. And then also. Uh, like I said, Reina Tinklecker Nye has been uh, announced as someone who's gone. It's Chai. I remember who, who Dr. Kumalo, I think he was the one who said it he, Reina Tinklecker uh, has made his way to somewhere, I think Europe, if I'm not mistaken. So that that's a good move. But unfortunately, he's no longer uh, saving AK's chiefs. So situation hey it's still there still there we don't know what is what is going on but so far we do know what he uh he was being assessed and since there's nothing there's no talks and already he 29 i don't know what's going to happen i don't know to be honest guys but i do believe with my chances working with Sally now they are very high they are very high because the longer they take i think there's something they're trying to check and be sure about so yeah we will see as time goes on with you what's going to happen with with melancone and then also like i think those were the updates that i wanted to give you buffet to the secret about Jonas reading nabi and also the players going out well i believe this is it thank you so much for watching guys i will see you soon with something new